Hey guys, it's Fari Red Hero 8. Welcome to my next Let's Play. One of my favorite games, and probably my favorite Zelda game, is this one right here. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. A lot of people will tell you this is, a, is probably their favorite Zelda game. It is probably, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say it's the most, the most popular one, but it's one of the big ones, at least in my opinion. And if it's not, well then, I'm wrong about that. But I'm really looking forward to this one. It's weird because I, you know, I did Twilight Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and I'm coming back to this one. But just because it's an older game doesn't mean that it's any less great. Well, anyway, let's get started on it. I have a practice file down here, but this will be my actual file up here. And of course, I'm not gonna. I was gonna name Link Fiery, but I'm like, nah. We'll just keep it as is because I'm boring like that. But let's go ahead and start this up. And probably like, this is like, of course my phone goes off in the vast deep forest. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. I like how it almost looks like a painting. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Aww. Yeah. We all, there's always one in the crowd. Which, I would be one of those if I looked back in my childhood, but... That's what makes you different, you know? Less mainstream, dude. But... You're gonna see this um, scene again later in the game. And... I really don't know what to say except that... Holy fucking shit! Great, we're already seeing Ganondorf. Uh, yeah, that's exactly my thought. Like, what? <laughs> Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. It's a ball of light with wings. That's okay. I'm just, I'm just making fun of the graphics, even though I think they're pretty good. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. A journey? The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. You heard the man. Fly! And I remember actually when I picked this game up, it was New Year's Eve of 2008, or either that or the day before, and I had played Twilight Princess and Wind Waker at this time. And, or not, I hadn't played, not, I hadn't even played Wind Waker yet, just Twilight Princess. So I come back to this game, Nintendo 64, I'd heard good things about it, and I was like, let me try it out, but I was just like, oh my god, because the Nintendo 64 is probably my least favorite of the, of the plat, of the platformers, or the systems. But I still love this game wholeheartedly, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm going back to these graphics. But graphics, obviously, do not make a game. Oh, see, and I didn't think that was, I thought that was like a mirror or something, but I, it took me a while to realize that behind Link, that's a window looking out. Hello, Link, wake up. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up, like totally. Yes, Navi is annoying, apparently, so she will get the Valley Girl voice. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Apparently! Hey, that's me in the morning, okay? I do not like to get up in the morning at all. It's it's so bad that I will be late for work. I, I'm actually really I'm late to work more commonly than I should be because I sleep in so much. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Like, totally. I don't think I'm going to be doing that too much, but still, I had to do something to make Navi a little different. 
And we just go on out. There's really nothing inside the house that you need to worry about at this moment. But here is Kokiri Forest, which is all green. Yay! And here is Link's best friend, Saria. Yahoo! Hi, Link! I don't know exactly how to um, pronounce her name. Saria or Saria? I don't know. But let's backflip off this house, because I usually I always love to do that. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! No, you're a true Kokiri, Link! Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! That's what you think you need to do first, but you actually can't, you can't see him yet. Because there's an asshole sitting there in the way. And he's not going to move until you have a sword and shield. So instead of showing that to you... I know I probably should be trying to show everything I can, just in case there's one, you know, a couple people out there that haven't played this game. But I'm just going to go ahead and try to do it the quickest way I can. This isn't going to be a speedrun or anything like that, so it's just a casual playthrough. I do plan on getting, you know, all the heart pieces, um, the gold skull tools and things like that. I mean, as far as every treasure chest in the game, probably not. I mean, I'll get the main essentials, the compass, the big ass key and um the big ass key as i like to call it and the map those things i will be collecting so don't worry about that the basics basic the basics basically are all you need whoa shit that always scares me and i'm like so freaking not used to this camera the way it works because obviously i use the c stick to rotate the camera in sunshine because i'm still using the gamecube control i figured what the hell and here is our Kokiri sword. So we actually need to go into the um, pause screen to equip it. Which is kind of weird, but oh well. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice it before you really fight. You don't need to do that. Practicing is for noobs. And I'm not a noob. Well, I'm not, I'm not an expert either. Okay. And uh, I gotta get in the habit of not... Because I would usually save... Whoa. <laughs> I would usually save out of habit, not just just because of the way the buttons are placed, but I'm going to have to try not to do that, because if I do that, then I'm going to have a problem very soon. So, we don't want that. Because the last thing I want to do is, like, save and then not, you know, not, like, you know, there's always that one thing where if you save over a state that you really didn't want to do, and then you have to start over and do all that. This is mainly a tutorial area, kind of like getting used to things. Um... Oh, fucking... Did you get the grass, dude? Seriously. I'm cutting the grass here for rupees. Because you need 40 rupees to get a shield. And you can't, you can't just get a shield in the treasure chest. You have to buy it. Get off that. This is basically... Um, um, you target with L or Z on the N64. L on the classic controller or the GameCube controller. And this kind of just, like, shows you what you can do to dodge targets. And as you see, when you hold A or when you target... And press A when you have your sword out, you'll jump attack, which is probably the most powerful sword attack in the game. So, at least I think it is. Um, let's see, we got 21 already. You can also lift these rocks and get rupees, but I don't think I need to do that quite yet. Because I think I've got almost enough. Or I will soon. Because you can slash grass, th um, throw rocks, and when the rocks break, they usually drop rupees. There's one, five, the blue rupee back there. There's another blue rupee all the way up there, and then if you jump across these platforms, you get another one. So that's 33, okay. So basically all I need is two green ones and that blue one up there. Let me, yeah, let me slash that guy in the face. That's so nice of me. Okay, there's gotta be one around here somewhere. Don't be fucking with me now. Come on! What the hell? Ah, eh. oh, screw you. It's really not that hard to find rupees. I'm just kind of... I could throw those rocks in, in, a, in my practice file I did. But I was trying to save time here. Okay, there's one. That is so nice. I'm lost by one if I count this blue rupee over here. Uh, yeah, this, this bridge gives me a lot of trouble for some reason if I don't line myself up right. Cause yeah, I remember when I first played this. Again, it was like on a class controller. I hadn't played an N64 game in a while. Okay, there's 39. So... Is there one in here that I maybe missed? Please? Screw you. Okay, there's probably- there's gotta be one in here somewhere. Let's go. 
I know there's rupees in there, but I'm gonna save them for later. Um, I don't know, just because I feel like it. I don't feel like going in the house. There it is! I see you there, you bastard. Alright. Got that. Now let's go get a, s a shield, because we're gonna need it. And you're probably wondering why I need... Hi, Link! Look this way! Uh, girl, I don't have time right now. You know what? I got time to talk to you? Look over here with Z, or L, if you're using a GameCube controller, and talk to you with A. Okay, you happy? Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. And I can't speed up this text. Yay! It's so great you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk with people using your fairy. We already kind of figured that out. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press Z or L to look in that direction. If you use Z targeting, you can talk to people from a distance or L targeting like you're doing now. When you, ha when you have nothing you can target, you can press Z or L to look forward. Try it. Yes, like if you just want to line yourself up like that, that's easy. Also, you can use the camera C up to look and then line yourself up that way if you're having trouble. Okay, 11 minutes. Yes, with these, um, I'm going to try to do like 15 minutes. We have exactly 40, so we're going to grab this. Before we do, though, and I know I'm like jumbling a lot of this in here. Okay, you're, you're going to find these later, so we don't need to buy them. Deku Nuts um, actually are used to stun enemies. Um, the stick can be used as a weapon, and it can also be used for something else I'll show you later. And they're more powerful than your Kokiri Sword, if I'm not mistaken. Over here is Deku Seeds. Um, there's some sort of ammo for a, sli well, for a slingshot, as it describes there, but we don't have a slingshot yet. Um, arrows, which we don't need right now. We won't need them for a while. And a recovery heart, which we don't need to buy. We just need this. So we're actually getting what we need and not stuff we just want. I mean, that's really how it should be. For me, it's, I don't know, sometimes I just get these shopping urges. That's how I am. I need to work on that, though. No, I don't need to buy anything else besides them. Stone Cold Broke. Alright, 12 minutes. Probably not- I don't know. Should I? I really haven't done a whole lot. I don't know. Depends on how long he talks. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the great Deku Tree? Uh, he summoned me, bitch. What of it? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What the fuck? What? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku Fairy actually summoned you? Yeah, I just said that. What? Say what? Why would he summon you and not the Grey Mido? Because you're a little bitch. This isn't funny. Yeah, it is. It's hilarious. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without a great without both a sword and shield? Ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready. But oh shit! I didn't equip the shield. This is retarded. You want to? Okay. Whatever. Sheesh. Fuck you, dude. See, this is one thing I don't like, is that it doesn't automatically equip it for you. But it kind of makes sense later. So there you go. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield? And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Dude, you stole it! Good grief. We're borrowing it. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Well, it says you. Everybody else likes me. Shoot. How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree? Huh? Yeah, you go fucking just cry in your corner over there. Okay, let me get the sword out, because as soon as you cross this corner... Well, yep. Monsters come out. And this is how you equip your, um... You, when they're up like this, because the uh, Deku Flowers, I believe they're called... Um, when they're up like this, they, whenever you kill them, you get sticks from them. But they also leave the Deku Seeds if they're in a different form, which I'll show you later. Great Deku Tree, I'm like, back! Oh dear god. Navi. <laughs> I'm making her twice as annoying as nor than normal. Oh Navi, the house returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Man, 
I just woke up a little bit ago, you see, but I mean, since I went to all this trouble at least to pass that bitch back there, I might as well do something. Otherwise, he'll just pick on me some more. Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy. Thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, you see up to listen well to her words of wisdom. Oh, God. You mean I gotta listen to this valley girl? Jeez. My God. But yes. After all this prepar- I mean, it's like, uh, 15 minutes of preparation. I'm actually gonna try to keep my videos to 15 minutes. Which you're probably thinking, what the hell, man? We're about to enter the first dungeon. But I mean, that's kind of what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to stick to that. So please don't hate me. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!